Hi, welcome to the Business School at Hebrew University in Jerusalem. What we will do is try to explain why Israel, why Hebrew University, and why our business school. We are one of the leaders of innovation with more than 5,000 startups currently in this country. And perhaps also no less interesting are 250 R&D centers of the big companies in Israel. So for example, Citibank is always looking for our alumni. Israel is actually spending a lot of money on research and, de and development as a percentage of their GDP, in part because the startup world is producing 15% of our GDP each year. We have been responsible for inventions used all over the world, including USB sticks, including the laptops that you might well be using right now. We have been named a startup nation thanks to that wonderful book. Um, and a lot of money is being invested in these companies, which is why it's a fun place to come study specifically innovation and entrepreneurship. Hebrew University was founded over a hundred years ago. It's based on six campuses around Israel, seven faculties, 14 schools of which the business school is one. We have almost 1000 members of faculty and 24,000 students of which 10% are international and really do draw from all over the world, over 90 countries represented. We're also an excellent university. It's kind of hard to walk around. You can see in this picture below, Robert Ullman receiving his Nobel Prize in economics. The economics department sits next to the business school on the Mount Scopus campus. In total, there are eight Nobel Prizes from people from the university and Lyndon Strauss sitting in mathematics who got his Fields Medal, which is the equivalent of the Nobel Prize because they don't have one for mathematics. As you can see, there are many, many awards here, so I have a lot of work to do. But perhaps the one that's most relevant to you is the one at the very bottom. Hebrew University has been included in the top 100 world's most innovative universities as published by Reuters, and this directly impacts your degree. <clears throat> The school itself has been around since 1952 and our goal is to develop the next generation of leaders as we've already done. So we have uh, alumni sitting in the heads of banks, sitting um, as the CEO today in the finance ministry and so on. We are AA CSB accredited. More importantly for you, you need to build a network. Our alumni really do cover all of the major companies, as you can see here. Mobileye was started by Amnon Shashua in the computer science department, and it's all about um, automated vehicles. So if you were interested in that, this is a large company today in Jerusalem owned by Intel. We will give you the opportunity to meet CEOs throughout the year and to meet our alumni and to participate in mentorship programs. It is an 11 month degree. You will do an internship in the first two semesters, the first semester with a venture capitalist and the second semester with a startup funded by that venture capitalist. It should really be a, a fun opportunity to start to see how the theory gets applied. We also have many opportunities to meet academics from all over the world. They come visit us. Glenn Yago is going to talk about financial innovation as he does at Berkeley. Alex Lipton talks about blockchain and teaches at MIT. Sharon Bellinson is a world expert in strategy and how we can help tech companies to advance quicker. And he comes from Duke, Noah Stoffman from Kelly. There's actually two tracks to this program. The first are for those who've never studied business before. And it's a 48 credit course spread over three semesters. For, the biz for students with an undergraduate degree in business, it's slightly fewer credits, 42 credits, again spread over these three semesters. So, the core courses are for those who have not studied business before. That's this bracket here. You will learn over the first two semesters the eight basic courses required in business. 
micro finance, accounting, OB, marketing, all of the fun stuff like data science and strategic management. All of you will take the required courses in the Startup 360, Introduction to VC World, Creativity and Innovation in the first semester, Entrepreneurship, and VC Fund Seminar in the second semester. That VC Fund Seminar is going to ask you to figure out where to spend $100,000. In other words, which startup would you invest in? And it will be done for real. So it's real money, it's not pretend. And I understand that it's a very exciting program. And then of course the internship, which runs over those first two semesters. For those who have a business background and do not need any of those core courses, we encourage you to take the courses in innovation, including the very serious bio design. This is an eight credit course. This is uh, where we create groups of students from computer science, from medicine or from biology and from the business school. And together you create a startup. And you of course would be responsible for generating the business plan. Um, many of these um, startups have, have become real companies and over 30 million uh, dollars has so far been invested over the past five years in, in various startups coming out of this course. We also have entrepreneurship in fintech and a fintech design course coming along next year. And one of the courses that is beloved by many students, the art and science of negotiation, where you really get to figure out how this all works. And then of course we have many electives. You can choose between advanced marketing strategy, which is a game that you will play in groups against each other. Or you can meet all of the crowdfunders that have been set up in Jerusalem and come and explain about how it works and what they do. And finally, after the first two relatively academic semesters, we come to the summer semester, which is really hands-on. We call it the TIP program. It's six weeks, it's really intensive. You get to hear about all the breakthrough technologies and the latest trends. You're going to do it for real and you're going to end up with a pitch by the end of the semester. And now I hand over to Tal to talk about the more specific details about how to be accepted. Thank you, Nicole. Hi everyone, I'm Tal, the program's coordinator. I hope everyone's having a lovely time so far. And I wanna briefly talk about the admission requirements. So first of all, of course, the transcript, GMAT or GRE, we only look at the quantitative score, two academic recommendations, photocopy of your passport ID, statement of purpose, which is an essay of you explaining why do you want to participate in our program? What are your plans? What do you aim to gain from participating? Your resume, and also an interview is another form of getting accepted to the program. We also uh, offer prerequisite courses in mathematics and statistics to those uh, who doesn't have sufficient basic knowledge in those backgrounds. The tuition fee is 30,000 USD for the whole program. We, it also includes our health insurance, which is excellent. And we also offer financial aid. Of course, for outstanding students with overall GPA equivalent to 90 and above in Israeli terms, students from developing countries and for new immigrants. We offer a lot of support to our international students. Whatever you need, it can be financial or health or psychological support. We also have a lot of social and cultural activities. We have a lot of um, trips outside of Jerusalem. We have a lot of weekend programs, a lot of sessions, and I can just tell you it's a really, really fun experience. Thank you, Tal. That's great. So what we would like to say is that we would like to welcome you to our program if this is what is of interest to you. We would like to point out that we have some seriously cool alumni like Alison here who came from New York and took our program and today is working at Orcam, which is one of the startups that helps with um, innovation for people who have uh, difficulty seeing. She is uh, one of our great examples for what you can do after you have completed our program. We would really like to welcome you to Jerusalem. We invite you to see our website at IMBA, Huji, A-C-I-L, and write to us. We would be happy to hear from you. Facebook, LinkedIn, and even Twitter. <laughs>